Okay, I got my piece cut. And this is uh, the same wood. Looks like the same piece. Anyways, uh, we have to bring bring this up to this level. So I'm just going to clamp this in here. We already cut this out. I'm going to do some fitting here to make sure this fits flat. And then we'll just glue it in. Yeah, I was hoping to take some of this off here, from here to here, but it's kind of difficult on the bandsaw. I don't want to mess up my piece, so I'm going to sharpen my chisel, I guess, and whittle this off after. But this will give us plenty to, uh, to work with, and the right material, too. Okay. A lot of the hard work has been done. I'm glad for that. We got remnants of the, the original. Veneer. I have some veneer for this. Hard veneer. And I have a pattern for this also. Oh, here's that piece we, I had to glue on. Patch piece. I'll just put that there and see what I got left. Redraw uh, my pattern here. Oh, here we go. can flatten this out too a little bit I'm sure. That's old cherry. Amazing how it fits right back into place. Hmm. Like keyways. That works pretty good. Okay. be exact as possible. Let's be right on. That looks pretty good, so we'll draw another line here. This has to taper to zero to there. And we have to taper this also to this level. So there's just going to be a small piece here in this corner. Huh. Okay, where is it? I don't know where it is right now. Anyways, that's what we got to do. Okay, been preparing for this. Since earlier this morning, after a lunch break, so we got all our base panels ready, and I had to do this elaborate rubber backed clamp up called here. There's a layer of black rubber in here, and here's the veneer that we're going to be pressing on here. This is some, some old maple veneer I had hanging around up in our veneer warehouse. And this is going to tie this in together, just like the original. I've got to heat it up first and 
line it up with these alignment things, one there, and one here, and then uh, throw all these clamps on there. It's going to take two of us, I think, because I can't get these all on here very quickly. And, uh, well, that's it. Let's, let's do it. Two. Okay, I'm going to start down here. They're all in order, so this should be easy. Hot to go. Yeah. Perfect. I'm going to wash the glue off now. That's the boring part. Now this part came out good. Glued this on yesterday. I'm going to trim this now and plane this level. And uh, I'm going to glue the base section on now. This one, because, and we have our little blocks here. These are softwood spruce blocks just to lock it in place when we clamp it and they're super glued there we can just chisel them off after and everything's rubber backed that's what that black stuff is there in the middle the rubber helps it conform to irregular surfaces works well so we're gonna heat this up clamp it up and uh, and maybe clean up the place a little bit here. What a mess. Thought I'd take a second and show what's going on here. It's a cold run, no glue, but this whole assembly here, one, two, and the rubber. And there's our veneer we're gonna be gluing on to this. And uh, just thought I'd show you what's not so easy sometimes. You have to come up with these jigs to glue stuff down. See all these little blocks of wood here. They were glued here, and I did the rest of it. That was for the whole other half of the pin block. As you can see, all the way down here, we got this blocks that are glued there to accommodate the angle of the clamp when it's clamped down, or else it just slides off. The glue thing slides off. Um, so that's that's it. And we're gonna do it here. It's getting warmed up right now. There's the heater in the background there. And uh, let's go. I was curious. 
that's the average temperature of the glue I don't usually measure it I can just if it's hot to the touch hot like this it's very hot that's perfect get it too real hot it gets thinner of course about 100 degrees this will be a little bit more viscous so let's do it get the glue ready got the stuff all heated up get this out of the way and we got our piece ready here that's hot too very hot wouldn't hurt to rough it up a little more make sure a little rough sandpaper should have did this before but everything's so hot the glue is really hot so I have some time here to do this little piece like this I did this to everything else I just forgot to do it to this one there we have it I already did this so so now we brush this on and you're like you brush it on good see just like when you're varnishing get it into the work it in there there that's good now over here same thing mm -hmm. you can hum while you do it passes the time gushing sounds oh it goes uh, this way see it'll lock right in position now right there these are sacrificial we'll get rid of those after so now we have this one is down everything's all set here should go smoothly and the first one does tilt the book tilt it a little bit to there we go gentle at first gentle Make sure it's tied up against our things here. One up. Make sure it's seating properly. Down. Up. Up and down. That's where they fit. Can't tighten the handles if you put them all one way. There we go, and there are little blocks. Make it handy, quick to do this. There we go. That's why everything is clamped cold at first to do, to be able to do this quickly and accurately. And this one can come off now. See. That was just a guide. Down the end, put that in the water. And we'll just wash the glue off and that's it. And then over here, I notice, so I might as well film this at the same time, this part here. It's, uh, it's going to be easy to do with a good sharp chisel. Just a couple minutes of this. You can follow our original thing here now. See? This comes off easy. Thank God. You gotta get a break sometime. This hard maple is tough stuff to work with. I said that once before, but when you get the grain, see the grain's running the right way, it just curls right off, right up to our original or well, the pin block that we fitted to the cast iron it's gonna match it nice okay that's it for now okay we got this all glued up now it's all plain down here we got our line this is all correct the base is all all in now I'm gonna fit that top on here again and see where we're at Just 
whole thing goes on here. Locks right in the old, the old fracture along the back side. Just locks in place. I want to see. I draw a line here. Hmm. It came out really good here. There's no space between here. I'm surprised. I got it pretty level this way. So let's draw a line here. See how well we did. I gotta put it back in the case and make the notches for here for the plate. They're recessed into that panel and they would have to be. It's gonna make it harder. Whoops. We'll see how good we did or I did. Side. Looks pretty good. I could bring this down a little bit, see? This is the edge here. Doesn't matter if it's up a little bit. Anyways, I'm going to put it back in the case. And, uh, see where I have to make my notches. There's notches in here. in right here here and here they carved it a little bit inset so let's do the same thing this fits pretty good for uh, you know, beat up as it is it's got a flat spot here too okay and uh, I guess we'll do it bring this down a little bit to bring this line over here a little bit and then we'll be okay there cleaned it up a little bit start to clean it up and I got this part fit pretty darn good right now and I'm ready to start to uh, paint this gold here pretty soon we got a finish on here right now in this area and I'm gonna fit the steel underneath it right now nice hard maple here and there's the steel over there we're gonna fit under it you have to cut it to size I think it's too big so let's do it From about here to here, and maybe a little bit here. Let's see, fits there good. It doesn't have to fit perfect, it doesn't hold any, any weight. Let's see it from here to here. Grind it down a little bit, fit this a little better so it doesn't look so bad. And this has to be ground down here. Drop this down because this is uh, this is proud here. You have to take some off of here. Maybe not that wide. It only has to be about maybe that wide. 
just enough to catch the screws in here. Maybe one there and one somewhere about here that'll go right through here. See, it'll be threaded into the cast iron. But right now, we gotta make a lot of noise. I don't think I have any anymore after this. That's better. That's yeah, much better. <clears throat> Doesn't have to be this wide either. We're going to make it about this wide, I think. Uh, maybe in here. All depends where my tuning pins are. Anyway, we have to make a design in here, something like this. has to be cut like this in here to follow this. About this wide. So all this will be cut off. Doesn't have to be this wide. Excessive. And of course we're going to have screws in here. Maybe one there, maybe one there. All along here like this. Screws. Countersunk in the steel and threaded into the pin block. Wood screws, big ones. And these will be bolts, threaded machine bolts, right through into some coming through from the top and threading into here like that and then we file and flush yeah it's gonna be in, gonna be good all right that's it for now that fits better oh yeah it fits pretty good well here's my piece of steel i've been fitting not too easy I know how to work with metal a little bit on the other video. You see me grinding it off. I've made a miscalculation here. This is not good. Very bad. I'm gonna... Did a real nice job of fitting it here. And this... This piece of cat... This cast iron has to go down to the thickness of the plate here. We're gonna grind this out so it fits in there. It's a little too wide. But over here, I got a problem. Luckily, I ordered 10 feet. This stuff came in a 10-foot length, so I have a whole other piece of this outside. And what the problem is, I didn't figure down here where the tuning pins go. Here. They go in. Well, here's one here. They go in about that deep. See? It's right about there. You can see the mark here on the pin it sticks out about that much, but still, they go in there. I can't put the screws in here. This has to go at least here. So the screws can go there. So I'm going to have to bring this to there. Jeepers. Okay, so I screwed up. It's all right. I got another piece. Like I said, I got 10 feet of this. Luckily, I have a whole other half of this. So, I'm going to have to 
redraw these dimensions like that. This has this piece of steel has to follow this line here about this far away, all the way up, come up against here, and then then my screws will be here, maybe. Maybe one here, there, there, and there. One, two, three, maybe four. And they're going to follow this line here, going this way. So that'll be good. Maybe like this. Maybe one here. Maybe one here, there, there. Not too many. The steel is stiff stuff. Anyways, I got to recut this. And this is going to be somewhere along this line instead of here. We don't need all that steel. All we need is enough to catch the screw tips in here and wide enough to accommodate the head of the screw on in the steel. So that's what we're going to do. Hmm. Somebody's went through already. That's that's the bolt on the other side. See, these are going to come right through into this steel plate here. And we're going to thread them into here, so they thread into here from the other side. Oh, that'll make this very strong.